Welcome to the University of Cosmic Intelligence, Cosmic Family. All right. So today we are here talking about uh, an advanced extraterrestrial race called the Nomos. All right. So many of you may or may have not heard of the Nomos, but the Nomos is an advanced extraterrestrial race that have lived amongst you for quite some time now. All right. So. To understand who the Nomos are, you must understand where they come from, which is the Sirius star system. To understand the Sirius star system, you must know exactly how the Sirius star system is set up. All right. So the Sirius star system, which is where the Anunnaki come from, all your so-called black and Latino people. Consists of four major energetic centers or center points. These serve as hubs or cities, as you can call them. Think of. Four galactic cities combined through by dark matter energy. Okay, so that would be the Sirius star system. Okay, so the Sirius star system is composed of Sirius A, B, C, and Sirius X. All right, I'm making a separate lecture strictly about the Sirius star system, so I won't go too in depth about Sirius A or Sirius B or C. I'll just or X. I'll just stay right at Sirius B, pertaining to the Nomos. All right. So, as you know, the Anunnaki, the original creators or source, um, we come from Sirius X. We are the creators of the entire universe. All right. This is your so-called black woman slash Latino woman and black slash Latino male. All right. They descend from Sirius X. Xylanthia. We have created many extraterrestrial races and many forms of life throughout this galaxy and throughout the cosmos and throughout the multiverse that are very it would be mind blowing to know that we created these beings, but you must understand that we created everything. We are builders. We are scientists. All right. So in the beginning of creation, when it was just the black woman, all right, when it was just God, the the Anunnaki goddesses or the divine feminine energy, she uh, separated the X Y chromosome. She separated the X chromosome and created another Y out of the X, and from that she created the the divine masculine energy. The divine masculine energy manifested and became known as the Anunnaki God. Divine feminine energy manifested and became known as the Anunnaki Goddesses. Together we become the Anunnaki. All right. The Anunnaki Goddesses then elected 23 scientists to enumerate the multiverse or design the cosmos. The leader of this group was known as Jakub, a.k.a. Satan in your history books. He had 22 other scientists on the team with him. Of which myself, Divine Insight, I'm one of the original 23 scientists. Now, when we were, when we set out to create, the very first energetic hub we worked on became known as what we now call today the Sirius Star System. So, Sirius B is, is and Sirius A and C, they are all different from each other. What they share in common is that they were all created by the Anunnaki who exist on Sirius X, the center of the multiverse. We are located in the 19th galaxy, in the ninth universe <clears throat> of the ninth multiverse. Okay? When you understand supreme mathematics, you will understand that numbers don't go from 1 to 9. They go from 9 to 1, which is why 9 is always considered the supreme number. There is no number higher than nine. This is what makes us nine ether beings. I'll save that for more detail in tomorrow's class about neuromelanin. But on Sirius B, you have the Nomos. The Nomos being an aquatic group of advanced intelligent life forms or extraterrestrial races, as we call them down here on this planet. Now, today, uh, we're very advanced. All right. They 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 are a very peaceful group of beings, the Nomos. Um, when you think of liquid or any beings that exist on the liquid realm down to our ancestor Ocean, who was one of the original Titans. Most of these beings come from Sirius B, Sirius B. Every, most of the beings on Sirius B are, are liquid. All right. Liquid based. All right. So. Whereas we have, we take on a more solid form or a gas form in the cosmos. The beings who inhibit it, who inhibit 
Series B take on a more aquatic form. All right. So. In the beginning, we were creating many different beings and many different species. One of the species that we created was the reptilians. All right. Uh, we created the alpha reptilians and every other reptilian species. The only reptilian species that we did not create was the alpha draconian reptilians. The alpha draconian reptilians are actually the fallen angels who have shapeshifted into these reptilians. The alpha draconian reptilians are also the reptilians who run today's world, today's planet, down here on planet Kai. When we speak of the cabal, the deep state, the Illuminati, these are the alpha draconian reptilians. All reptilians are bad. There are many different species of reptilian. Most reptilian species come from series A. I'll save that for my lecture on the series star system, which I'll be doing that one on YouTube in a few weeks. But the reptilians, after they were invaded, all right, by certain fallen angels as the war went on between the gods, because war broke out in the cosmos amongst the gods after Satan, a.k.a. Zeus, um, stepped outside of himself and, and sought to, to go to war with us, sought to go to war with his essence, his creators, his family, his cosmic family, his galactic family, which would be us, the Anunnakai. Um, as war began to break out in the cosmos, these reptilian beings, they linked up with another group, subset of extraterrestrial race, uh, extraterrestrial race called the Pleiadians. All right. Together, they, they, they began to ransack planets and different galaxies and different realms and hijack them for their resources. So when they when they when they got to Sirius B. They attempted to hijack the Nomos of their resources, and the Nomos being a very strong, powerful subset of extraterrestrial beings, they wasn't having it. So war broke out on Sirius B. Um, when you when, when, during this war, the Nomos, very very powerful race, almost defeated the reptilians, but the reptilians having most of these. Alpha Draconian Reptilians being fallen gods understood these, the Nomos very well. Remember, after all, we created the Nomos. So a lot of the fallen gods who had um, turned against us, the, Anun the Anunnaki, um, they knew exactly how to attack the Nomos and where to attack them at. And they used um, certain elements and certain spells and certain weapons to... Uh, cut off the the life force or the nomos uh connection to the to water, right? So they 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 begin to drain Series B of all its liquids, liquid assets, which the nomos needed or used as a breathing tech, as a breathing um as a breathing machine, because the nomos are aquatic beings, so they they. They need water, right? This is where all fish, when you think of today how fish, they need water to breathe. All, all fish that you see down here on this planet, they get that whole template from the Nomos, all right? Um, the Nomos, be, on Sirius B, they look like walking dolphins. So imagine, imagine a humanoid dolphin, a dolphin walking up on two legs with two arms, but the head of a dolphin. So imagine some a, a being with the with the body of of me of a god, two arms, two legs, but the head of a dolphin. That's exactly how the nomos look in their pure form. All right, the nomos look just like walking dolphins in their pure form. All right, and the ones that didn't look like dolphins, they either looked, they either was like had a humanoid body, which these are the god physique, but but they call a humanoid, right? They had a humanoid body with a dolphin head, or they had half. They had half of their body was god-like. That means an arm, arm and a head, and the lower half was fish-like. That's how the nomos look. So they either a had the limbs of a god, the arm, arm, leg, leg, with the head and neck of a dolphin, or they was half god. You see, arm, arm, head, body of a god or goddess, and the lower half of a fish. Okay. So this is this is how the nomos look. All right. So as this war broke out on Sirius B, because the nomos aren't the only 
indigenous beings to Sirius B. Okay? You have to understand the nomos, the, the name, the reason that it's called Sirius B is because Sirius B stands for Bezufians. All right? A Bezufu. All right? So Sirius A stands for Aurelius. Sirius B stands for uh, Bezufu. And Sirius C stands for Kronos. And Sirius X stands for Xylanthia. These are the names of of what the A, B, C, and X stand for in the Sirius star system. So all the beings in Sirius B, they will be considered Bazufians. All right? Sirius B is Sirius Bezufu, which is the ancient word that we had, which they cut off a lot of our ancient languages from us because we speak in vibration. So certain, vi certain, certain sounds use certain vibrations that will open up, will allow us to access certain cosmic energies or galactic energies. But Sirius B is the Bazoofians. So the Nomos will be considered the Bazoofians. The beings that exist on Sirius B are mostly the Nomos and the angels. So when you talk about the angels, your archangels, guardian angels, on and on and on, those are the beings that exist on Sirius B. They are known as the Bazoofians. All right? But the Bazoofians are divided into two subgroups, Nomos and the angels. These are the beings that exist on Sirius B. All right, and like I said, I have a lecture coming up on, on the Sirius star system. So I'll name the different beings that live on each star system. I mean, Sirius A, B, and C, and X, all right? But, so the Nomos, being aquatic, aquatic-like, as this war began to go on between those, them and the reptilians and, Pleiadians, and the Pleiadians, they began to lose this war. So as they started to lose this war, a lot of the natural resources on Sirius B was attacked by the reptilians. So basically, Sirius B was destroyed. When Sirius B was destroyed, this was before Earth was even created. Earth, the Earth as you know it, wasn't even created yet. Planet Kai wasn't even created yet. That's why I say the war with the reptilians and Pleiadians has been going on for energy cycles, all right? Before we ever created Planet Kai, as you know, it's Tiamat or Earth today, this war was taking place. So this planet, now known as Planet Kai, or Atlantis. This planet, now known as Planet Kai or Atlantis, was the very last planet ever created. All right, I always told you that. So when Sirius B was destroyed, because and we rebuilt it, but it was originally destroyed, and then we re we rebuilt it after we rebuilt Planet Kai. But when Sirius B was destroyed, the Nomos had nowhere to go. So the Nomos came to Sirius X with the Anunnaki, their creators, which is us. And we were working on a whole new planet we were created, which we were, which was to be made in the image of Xylanthia. This planet was to be known as Planet Tiamat or Planet Anunnaki, Planet of the Anunnaki. All right. Since we are plant based, we share the, best, the deepest connection with plants. We named it a planet. All right. The realm was going to be consisted of many different planes. So we named it. Planet two, plain T, T standing for Tiamat. Uh, 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 a planet consisting of nine different planes. So what we did, the Anunnaki, we promised the Nomos another home. We said that after we get through building Planet Kai, we will give you a home down there. So after we got through building Planet Kai, which you know today is Earth, that's exactly what we did. We granted the Nomos a new home. Now, some of them stayed back and waited for the new planet to be created. But most of the Nomos came down here to the planet Kai with us. So when we sent all our spiritual assassins down to this planet to build up this realm, for it was to be a dojo for all the Nunakai that was passing through, spirits and souls and ascended masters, a place where you can experience and accelerate your conscious, conscious quicker than anywhere else, this is what the planet was designed to be. All right, like a second hub, like a second headquarter for the Anunnaki, for us. We also sent the Nomos down here because we had offered to get them a new home because of the war they went through with the reptilian race. So the Nomos, when they descended down here, many of them already being aquatic light, took on the form of what you now know today as dolphins and whales. So when you see dolphins and you see whales, you are literally looking at the Nomos in physical manifestation. This is why dolphins are so smart. This is why whales are so smart. This is why they don't want you communicating with dolphins or whales in the wild. It's literally illegal to communicate with dolphins and whales in the wild. All right. 
because dolphins and whales are an extraterrestrial race called the Nomos, who were granted a new home on this planet in our oceans or in our seas, as we originally called them. But it's not just the dolphins and the whales. It's deeper than that. Mermaids are a part of the Nomos, as well as mermen. So this is where your mermaids and your mermen came from. All of the Nomos came here, and when they came here, they took on different forms. So they, they, they took on the form of dolphins and, and whales and mermaids and mermans and, and sirens and even manatee. Like the manatee that you see swimming through the ocean, they are also a part of the Nomos. All right, so now science, the people, the people that, the oppressors that stole our, all our esoteric information, they know this, all right? They know that we can hold certain conversations with the dolphins and they can empower our genetics to help us remember certain things or unlock certain things within us to help us access certain cosmic forces that are lying all around us, right? This is why they do not want us communicating with dolphins in the wild because we share a cosmic lineage with these dolphins. These are not dolphins. These are not animals. They are actual extraterrestrial race. A lion is an animal, right? Uh, a snake is an animal. A dolphin, a whale, a manatee, um, a seal, seals, otters. None of those are 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 um are animals. Those are all the normals. So when you're talking about once again our name, dolphins, whales, mermaids, mermen, siren, manatee, seals, otters. These are all part of the nomos, all right? And if you'll notice, one thing they all have in common, they are all very intelligent. Seals, otters, manatee, whales, dolphins, intelligence beyond what they would like to call normal. That's because these beings share an extraterrestrial connection. They are not from here. We made a covenant. We made a deal with the nomos after Sirius B was destroyed. Then we rebuilt Sirius B. And a lot of the no a lot of the nomos went back to Sirius B, but a lot of them stay and continue to form colonies down here in this physical in this physical realm because of the seas. They can live in the seas because the seas, the seas, the water on this planet comes from the Sirius star system. Okay? All the water you see, it came here from the Sirius star system. Sirius B is is literally like the water holes of the cosmos. You get what I'm saying? And that's the way we designed it to be. Um, Sirius X is pure darkness. That's headquarters. That's that's where we are at. That's dark matter energy. But Sirius B is where water, the element of water originates from. So the element water, as we know, originates in Sirius B. Water is an entity. I told you it's a spirit. It's a spiritual force. Just like um, the element, all elements are spiritual force. The fire, the water, all right? So, this is why these beings are so intelligent and so advanced, all right? Mermaids are real, all right? A video just popped out not so long ago of a mermaid washed up on a beach in Africa and everybody was on the internet joking and laughing, saying it's not real. It was real. Mermaids are very real. Mermen are real. Where do you think the story of the Little Mermaid comes from? Where do you think all these stories come from? Human beings do not have a soul. They are soulless beings. They are six ether beings. And we know that human, they attribute all of the creation stories or fables or history books go to human beings. So if they don't have a soul, which means scientifically they lack a creative outlet or the glance to be creative, which is why they have to um, um, copy, right? Then where do you think these stories come from? These stories are very real. I'm just here to connect the dots. I'm here to say enlighten and inform it and increase the frequency of the planet. So I'm here to help you remember all of the all of these things that is esoteric truth that have been hidden from us. All right? Because they if they if they connect you to the dolphins and the whales, then they have to tell you about Sirius B. They have to tell you all about the angels and, and how real they are. They have to teach you all about the different extraterrestrial extraterrestrial races and how real they are. So the Nomos is a very, very powerful species. And this is why they they put like a lot of mermaids and mermen. It's not that people couldn't see them. It's just that they are as so they, they exist on such a high frequency that you have to be on a high frequency to, to see them and realize that they exist. Now that the planet is rising in frequency and the collective consciousness is rising, 
more individuals are starting to become aware of the mermen and the mermaids and the sirens. But these beings been here the whole time. It's just the planet is rising in frequency. So you are now becoming more sensitive to energy. We are becoming more sensitive and empathetic to nature, to its vibrations, to its variants and its color frequencies, to its different animals, to the majestic beings, to the elemental warriors. We are rising with the planet. So this is why you're starting to see a lot of videos roll out about these, about the gnomos and these different beings. But the whole time the gnomos been here, they got you thinking that dolphins and whales are regular animals and they are not. Sharks are animals. No more dolphins, whales, seals, otters are not animals. Those, that's an extraterrestrial race called the gnomos. And the only reason they live here now is because we made a covenant with them, the Anunnaki. We, we promised to give them a new home after their original home was destroyed on Sirius B. This is a fact. All right. This is a cosmic fact. So this is why you see dolphins and whales and mermaids and mermaids and sirens down here today and otters and seals. All right. These are just the avatars that these advanced extraterrestrial beings chose to, to chose to animate. So these are divine beings. Some of the most purest beings on the planet are the nomos. This is why you get that feeling amongst dolphins and whales. And it's a feeling they give you that, that, no, that no, no other beings can give you. Even sharks fear dolphins, right? You should think about that. Why do sharks fear dolphins? That don't make sense. The shark's supposed to be the most aggressive thing in the ocean, but he feared a dolphin. It's, a, it's illegal for you to communicate with them in the wild. Why is that illegal? Anytime you see something illegal, you need to question it. Because all the shit is bad for you, legal than a mother. Shit is good for you, illegal. All right? So, Sirius B is composed of the Nomos and the Angels. And there's many different angelic forces, just like there are many different variants of the Nomos. That's why I named them for you. All right? You have Nomos that still stay in their pure form. So they look like us. They, look, they have the body of us with the head of a neck of a dolphin. You will realize that most beings throughout the multiverse have this God physique, arm, two arms and two legs and a head. We call it the God physique. And man, this is how dark matter, ma this is how divine masculine energy looks in manifestation. And this is how dark, this is how divine feminine energy looks in manifestation. You have never been alone. The entire time you have many beings living amongst you. We have 4,000 live viewers on a late night. Let's give it up for the university. Y'all in here deep. All right. But. We have this candle going, going right now because throat chakra, throat chakra weak. We are clearing no blockage. This crystal, no blockage. No blockage. We're throat chakra weak. These are your family members. These are your creations, the nomos. When they speak of the Nomos, they talk about the Dogon a lot. They say the Dogon was an African tribe who were visited by the Nomos. And it was the Nomos who taught the Dogon about the Sirius star system. It was the Nomos who taught the Dogon about time and, 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 and certain things going on in the cosmos. Well, the truth about that story is this. When the Nomos did come and talk to the Dogon, Dogon had already been enslaved and oppressed because they are what? An African tribe. So they simply had forgot who they were. And when the Nomos appeared to them, they were just reminding them who they were and where we originally come from and how we aboriginal beings, neuromelanated beings are not from this planet. We created this planet for we created them. All right. So you don't just have the Nomos on, on are originally from Sirius B. You have the blue avians. The blue avians are a part of Sirius B. All right. The blue avians are also a part of Sirius B. All of your extraterrestrial races started out, the most powerful one started out on either series A, B, or C, and then it expanded to different universes, galaxies, and planets. That's exactly what happened. They began to populate, they began to uh, multiply by mating with different extraterrestrial races, 
And then you, and on and on and on, and you got all these other different races that came along down the road. But you do have an original. You do have an original when it comes to the cosmos. You have your original extraterrestrial races. And as we move on this summer, as the as as the energy cycle continues to go on, we'll be getting deeper and deeper about these different extraterrestrial races. You'll be surprised how many extraterrestrial races or aliens lived amongst you the whole time. And you didn't know it. Like I say, if you want to be technical, dolphins and whales are at whales, seals, otters, they are all aliens. Mermaids, mermen would be aliens, sirens would be aliens. Your, your, your octopus, your squid, these are all part of the nomos. And they, they, they animate these life forms in this lifetime, no different than a banana. That's not a banana, that's a spirit and a soul, a spiritual being animating that banana. That's the spirit and the soul animating this crystal. It's the spirit and the soul animating this fire. That's the truth about your realm of this is matter. This is density. So when you see these dolphins and these whales, these are very divine beings. All right? These are very divine beings. These are very divine beings. Chakra a little bit. Now, as we move forward in this war, this is why I said. And this is why they also said Babylon is falling. In America with three Ks, the British royal, the cabal, the deep state, which is working for the true oppressor, which is the reptilians and Pleiadians, Pleiadians, they'll never win another war. This is why we said this, because you have so many forces that are that are hidden amongst the oppressors. It's ridiculous. They don't just have to worry about Rashad Jamal. You got to worry about all our ancestors, physical ancestors, our spiritual ancestors, the cosmic warriors, the elemental warriors, the animals, all right? The elements, all right? Then you got to worry about your extraterrestrial races that are here hidden in plain sight. They're here hiding in disguise, hiding amongst, amongst the oppressors as animals, hiding amongst the oppressors as regular everyday people. This is a real thing. This is why I keep telling y'all we are the last generation. It's so much help here for us in this war as the planet rising frequency. Just wait and see. A lot of these animals, you think animals, you're going to see. A lot of you see these dolphins, these whales, shape shifting. You're going to see more mermaids, more sirens, more ships, more scouting ships arriving, more commander ships arriving, more mother ships over every city. That's why I'm just doing my job. Reminding you who you are right here, then putting it in the music. That's my job, to tamper with the frequency, to damage it, to destroy the matrix construct through this music and through this vibration of throat chakra with these lectures. It's in game. It's over with. The planet is back in our hands. Don't fall for the shits and giggles on the news that you see. When we, when we have opened our eyes at the level that we have opened our eyes, it's, it's a wrap. And we are not alone. This is why you can't be scared to transcend because death is the real and it's a full-fledged spiritual war that's merged into this physical physical realm. But you have so much divine protection and so many forces around you. And trust me, they try to come in my head too and attack me when I'm in a physical state. They, they attack us all. But they only got power through certain emotions. They have no other power than that which we give them. We are the creators of all that you see and that you don't see. Nine into beings. The entire planet is behind us. We This is a war we don't lose. They lose this war, not us. Ask yourself, 
Why can't I talk to these dolphins in a while? Why is that illegal? It's not illegal for me to talk to an alligator, a snake, a lion, but I can't communicate with a dolphin, a shark, goldfish, turtles. What's so special about these dolphins and these whales? The dolphins and the whales store all the oldest memories of the cosmos within them. That's why. The dolphins and the whales hold all the oldest memories of the cosmos within them. Within them. They also are a healing species. So you can touch certain fins and they can touch you with certain, certain secretions on their body that if they touched you would activate certain cosmic energies within you and stimulate certain memories. Just like if you eat certain plants, it, it makes you dive deeper into yourself. It's a spiritual connection we have. They are mystics. The nomos. Mystics. Shapeshifters. All dolphins shapeshift. All whales shapeshift. All mermaids, mermaids, seals, manatees, squids, octopus, they are all shapeshifters. All of them. Science won't tell you that though. But they are. They are. But with that being said, I got a big lecture coming up on the Sirius star system. I'm going to go into deep detail about Sirius A, B, C, the beings that exist. Sirius A is Aurelius. Sirius B is Bezufu. Sirius C is Chrono. Sirius X is Xylanthia. We're going to do that lecture on YouTube. But we'll get more lectures coming up on the website about those different extraterrestrial races. I have Meet the Orishas, different Orishas I'm going to be introducing you to. These are all things we need to know. We're taking the downloads to, to a higher level as we get closer toward, toward as the planet begins to warm up again, as things begin to wake up again. We know winter isn't real. It's a slumber that it puts the planet in a slumber. It's up sub-zero technology. As we begin to come out of the slumber, we have certain downloads the ancestors want me to get out there. So I'm just listening to them. But we are divinely protected. Get, we have to remember... You have to remember the cosmos. You have to remember what you created and what you did. Genius. You're a genius. There are no words for you. You're an enigma. Anomaly. All the cosmos are within you. So many different gods and powerful forces all around you that you can connect with in this land, but then you don't know the names of the gods, how you gonna connect with them? If you don't know the names of the energy, how you gonna connect with it? If you don't know that certain animals are actual extraterrestrial races, how can you connect with them? It's all about information. I say, and this candle shall sell it all. This is the war that we win. The war is already won. Rejoice. But at the same time, Stay dangerous. Because Zeus don't want to let up. His minions don't want to let up. But their time is up though. They need bodies. They trying to intervene with as many souls as they can. That's why you need, must stay dangerous. Because their time is up. So they're more active. They're desperate. But we are well protected though. Spiritual assassins. Original guardians of the galaxies. Nine the beings. Neuromelanated beings. Creator of the cosmos. The builders of, of, of life itself. And thus it shall be. I'll see y'all tomorrow in class. I'll leave as I come. Now we rise.